Join us for a taste of Charleston you just can't get from the shore. Come aboard for a Spirit Line dinner cruise. This is Waterfront Dining. With live entertainment on two decks and breathtaking Charleston Harbor sunsets, it's an unrivaled fine dining experience from our galley to your table. Raise your glass with a group of friends or cruise the harbor with someone special. Go online to book your table and view our full menu at spiritlinecruises.com or call 722-BOAT. Hello, my name is Antoine Fletcher, lead park ranger at Fort Sumter National Monument. Every day I have the pleasure to bring thousands of visitors out to Fort Sumter to learn about the American Civil War. Construction of Fort Sumter began in 1829 when it was part of a series of forts built to defend the major coastal seaports. By 1860, the United States of America was being torn apart by issues of slavery and states' rights. With Lincoln's election as President of the United States in 1860, South Carolina secedes from the Union, followed by several southern states, forming the Confederate States of America. While Union troops still occupied Fort Sumter, Charleston, the city it was designed to protect, became a hotbed of rebellion as military forces gathered on the mainland and nearby islands. April 12, 1861, 34 hours of bombardment began the Civil War. It was the beginning of four years of horrific fighting, North versus South. Over 600,000 lives would be lost in this tragedy. With the war nearly over, the Confederates abandoned Fort Sumter. On April 14, 1865, the Union re-raised the flag of the United States exactly four years from the date it was lowered. The fort continued to be used by the military through World War II. In 1948, the fort was established as Fort Sumter National Monument. When you come to Fort Sumter and you walk through those doors, you feel something. You feel what they felt, whether it was a slave, a laborer, a Union soldier, a Confederate soldier. You think about the fear, you think about the hurt, you think about the sorrow, everything that they felt as soldiers and the people of Charleston during the bombardments of 1863, it's all right here. To actually see the site and be here is a totally different experience than actually reading the textbook. When you're physically seeing it and the distances that were between these different forts and, and how much they really did have to fight, you have an appreciation for what these people went through. So coming out here, I try to put it all together. You know, my brain was kind of searching for those kind of things to fill in the, fill in the gaps. When it turned into a real battle, everybody was shocked. So I said, I've got to come to this place here to, to see it. We're simply amazed at uh, the enormous effort that the United States has gone to to preserve sites of the American Civil War. To look over the fortification and see Fort Moultrie, see Fort Johnson, where those cannonballs and those artillery shells came from, that is amazing. You're reliving history. It was a huge part of our history. Like, it changed so much in our world. It's a way to connect with our past, to connect with our ancestors. In a lot of time, you know, we're looking forward but the lesson really not forward looking, but you know, really looking to the past. When you're here, you are living the history that happened and it's like being in a live classroom. So you have to be able as a park ranger to not just tell it from one side. You can't be biased with it. And you have to dialogue with the people. You have to get them to understand what was going on in the Civil War. It's not just gray, it's not just blue, it's not black, it's not white. There's a deep story behind the brick and mortar of Fort Sumter, and you can only get it right here. The mission of the National Park Service is to help preserve and protect our natural and cultural resources for this generation and for future generations to come and enjoy and explore. Thank you.